With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Let's begin with the question and in this question it says that a floor mat of mass capital M made up of extensible material is rolled along its length so as to form cylinder of radius R and kept on a rough horizontal surface. If mat is unrolled without any sliding to a radius of R by 2 then the decrease in the potential energy is. Okay, so let's begin this problem. Now, if you here the cylinder has a uh, cylinder has been formed by rolling the mat. So after rolling the cylinder will appear like this, and it has been rolled from a mat like. This. Okay, now after that it has been unrolled. So in that time the radius of this cylinder has become r by two. So, and some amount of mass will be unfolded, so that, that will lie on the plane like this. Now, the radius of this cylinder is R and this cylinder is R by 2. So, since the distance of its center from the ground is R, so we can write down, say this is A and this is B, the mass of this is M and the mass of this is M dash. So, with this we can say that potential energy of A is equal to M uh, it's a capital M so it should be it is M G into R <coughs> okay now in this case some mass has been uh, unfolded and it is lying on the uh, ground so with that we can say that M dash will be different now since both are uniformly distributed mass so we can say that sigma will be same for both cases so that means sigma is equal to mass by area that means m by pi r square similarly sigma for this one will be mass by area that means mass is m dash and area is pi upon r by 2 and its whole square so from this we can say that m dash into 4 is equal to capital m or we can say m dash is equal to capital m by 4 so this is the value of m dash so now the potential energy of b will be potential energy of b will be equal to m dash g into r by 2 or we can say m by 4 into g into r by 2 so potential energy of b will be equal to m g i by 8 so what we have to calculate is decrease in potential energy so initially the potential energy was m g r and finally the potential energy become m g r by 8 so that means decrease in potential energy so delta p e will be equal to p e a minus p e b and this will be equal to m g r minus Wait a minute. Mg r by 8 it is. So this is mg r by 8. And from this the decrease in potential energy that is delta P e will come out as mg r by 8 into 7. So this is the value that we have obtained in the end. And this is the answer of this question. So when we go towards the option, I think option 2 is the matching one. So option 2 is the correct answer of this question. This was about this question. Thank you for watching. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.